Under 40 uh, minutes to go in final practice for the Xfinity cars, and we had an issue on track, and there's a whole lot to break down here, Michael. Yeah, we talked about leisurely laps. We tried to maybe step it up a little bit. And again, the 28 of Marakovic went around, and, and when Tony was setting up in turns one and two sideways, watch how fast Christopher Bell dives into one, and the world has stopped ahead of him. And he does a really nice job of threading his way through what wasn't a hole, but I just can't imagine that Bell had any clue anything was wrong up ahead. You saw how slow the other guys had, had backed it down. Yeah, that view there, he's going to have right side damage and left front fender damage. Let's listen to team radio, see if we can figure anything out. No freaking brakes, man. What to do, wheel hop or not stop? I cannot stop. Well, I'm glad we played that radio transmission because and it's certainly a case of how fast things happen That's at this half mile racetrack. But it sounds like his spotter was on the game. He was on the game, just couldn't get stopped. And it also sounded like he did talked about having some brake issues. You know, the way he said it, just no brakes. Well, I love this view. There goes the 28, the first car by. Just loose on entry and up into the outside down, wall. There's one behind you going above you. Just watch them slide down. Nothing on your inside. Man, that makes me happy hearing those spotters. That, it just reminds me when I used to be a race car driver. Those guys have your back. They're there for you every move you make. Bell's made it back to the garage, Jamie. And he's out of the cars. The guys work on it. First off, what exactly happened from your point of view? I don't know. I couldn't see the crash, but Tony was yelling at me to stop, stop, stop. And uh, even throughout first practice there, I noticed that my brakes were good enough to race, but I, I couldn't stop very well at all and uh, just ran right in the back of them. Have they told you, or is the car okay, suspension and everything, to fix it and move on? I don't think so. Uh, I, I really don't know. We'll have to let these guys look at it and see where it goes. Thanks, Christopher. Regan? Well, his car might not be okay, Jamie, but it looks to me like the four car of Ross Chastain will be able to repair this race car, much like the 28 car earlier in the first practice. They're going to have to take the rear panel off and the quarter panel off of the right side, but other than that, it's just cosmetic damage, another benefit to having these the, the new bodies this year on these race cars. Well, and you saw the reaction there of the four team, and, and they don't know the full story, but it speaks to how frustrating this place can be. And if we're seeing it on Friday afternoon, it gets me curious. What are we going to see Saturday and ultimately Sunday when we're doing 500 laps? Well, I've been saying it for the 38 years I've been coming here. No matter what role you play on a race team, before you walk over in this racetrack, out there on the highway, just take your feelings, take your emotions out of your body, lay them on the curb, and pick them up when you leave here. If you bring them over.